channel so I know it's been a little while since I last uploaded but I thought I would come back with this really fun video I'm not gonna lie I am pretty scared we went to this really strange mall in Dubai it's called Dragon Mart it's like a giant mall but inside it's like market stalls it's so random like you can literally buy anything toys to furniture mm -hmm. you're all right what's going on <laughs> bathrooms food just anything you can think of it's there it's so random and as we we're walking around i kept noticing that people were selling makeup and not just any makeup fake makeup it was just so shocking to me because they are ripping off um authentic brands and trying to make it look like that is the real product they're not even trying to do like a dupe and i just thought what a funny video would that be to buy the products that they are copying and try and maybe do like a half and half to compare. So I tried to um, gather loads of bits that I already had and then just to use as a comparison and we're just gonna see how we get on. Like I said, I am absolutely terrified for my poor skin. I mean, let's all take a moment silence <laughs> for my skin. The thing that scares me is that because they're not just like a dupe, they are trying to be a replica. So God knows what we are putting on our face today. You wouldn't even be able to tell if this was the original or not. They are practically identical. It's scary. Even the box, I have another box, um, literally identical as you can see. It's really scary. Let's go ahead and open up the face. I'm dreading what is inside this bottle side by side. It said that this is manufactured in the US for Versali don't think so hon i'm gonna do half and half so i think i'm gonna start with the good side first so we can see what the og product is and then we're gonna go with the fake it's a very like thick and it smells like really good so i'm just gonna put that where my pores would normally be so it's a really nice almost like silky feeling now that it's on looking stunning nice and smooth let's check out this bad boy let's shake well before use oh okay well it is white to start do not say that this is glue it's definitely a lot more runny. <clears throat> do I even want to do this? It literally smells like BO. Someone's put deodorant on, but there's a hint of BO. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, do you know what? We're just going to go in. So it's a little bit more runny. It's definitely more of a lotion, greasy. Like this is completely matte and this is just like grease. So primer done. There was quite a few options again, but the one that stood out to me the most was Fenty Beauty. So I love the original Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. It is such a nice finish, but I did see the fake version. They got it in the box. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the difference. They tried, they really did. Okay, so this is plastic, whereas this is glass. It says shake well, that's literally all it says. And this has got like more information. Obviously I'm getting a foundation and I need something to apply this with. I did see in the corner of my eye, this little bad boy, the Beauty Blender, the original apparently. I've got the original one here. This one I've dampened. I've just wet it and it is nice and soft now. I'm very surprised this could be okay actually i just finished up applying the real foundation as you can see it's like a semi matte really good coverage nice and smooth let's go in with the fake oh my god oh my god oh my I don't know if I should put this on my face. Just stinks of like chemicals and like Play-Doh mixed together. Just scary because you just don't know what's in it. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with the blender. Oh my God, the smell is so greasy. I just can't go over the smell, rancid. This isn't actually that bad. I don't know whether this is actually helping. What is in this? I just wish I knew. One of my favorite concealers is the Maybelline Eraser Eye. And I absolutely love this concealer. I've used it for years. And I saw something and it was so funny. <laughs> I mean, what is this? Like, look at the difference. Come on. I mean, <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. It makes me feel sick as this is the last one and it's been used. So I'm definitely not putting that on my face. I'm gonna have to like somehow screw it out and then apply it. This is literally like the best concealer ever. Beauty blender and just 
blend that out. Feel, so that thing's just come off. Now what? If I just screw it up. Oh my god, look. Ooh, and it's so thick. Oh my god, look. The only thing I say is the colour's quite good. But apart from that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's like I'm slapping a wet fish on my face. Wait, I, why am I even doing this? It's actually making me angry. Look at me. It's just like, it's not even like blending in with the foundation. And it's so itchy. I'm, I'm gonna... Okay, that's that's gonna be it. That's about as good as we're gonna get. Okay, so if you thought this situation can get any worse, you was wrong. Because now we're moving on to powder. Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's my absolute favourite powder. They had the copy of it and when i say this is probably like one of the worst as you can see the packaging is different label is actually quite similar so that's like the only thing the original is clear and look at this. oh my god this is just gonna be terrible why are you banana powder like it's so yellow my trusty translucent look at that absolutely just flawless looks like turmeric i don't really want to sniff it look at it this is gonna be a joke. I just hope it's not that pigmented, right? How's it looking? Laura, you've been betrayed. I actually wanna try and see if I can make this look good. What is this? What, what I, I feel to give up. I think we need to move on. So another brand that I absolutely love is Ofra Cosmetics. And I do have um, quite a few of their bronzers and highlighters. Um, and I have this little like booklet here of their blushes in the market. I spotted this and I was like, I recognize that look how similar they are it's actually ridiculous however my one is blushes and this one is a full set of highlighters and blushes luckily I do have the bronzers and highlighters but just as individuals that's applied absolutely beautifully as you can see nice and matte I feel so sad that like I'm this is not my full face let's try this stab this on Hmm. It's a bit more red, definitely more patchy. Look at this, I don't think it's, it's gone really like grainy. Ugh, what is that? It's so patchy. That actually looks terrible. Let's go with the original. Absolute incredible highlight. Look, look at that. Literally not even a full swipe, just like a dab. It's so weird highlighting like only half of my face. Look at this, so nice. So I'm just gonna do a little touch. Are you joking? Are you actually taking the piss? Look at that. It looks like I just put grey eyeshadow on my face. Stop it. Look at that. Look when I move. It's like soot. I'm gonna try the other one. This one here. Okay. Disgusting. Look at the... It's just showing like every single piece of texture. As soon as I move. Just looks like I put dirt on my face. And I barely touched it. We need to move on quickly. So now that our base is done. We've got our real side and our... Like, there were so many different stores that were copying uh, this one brand and it was like everywhere and it was just so funny to see like how they have tried to dupe this. One of my favourite eyeshadow palettes is the Huda Beauty New Nude eyeshadow palette. It's an absolutely stunning palette and I kept seeing this little bad boy, the New Nude palette, but this is the only thing that didn't have, like it didn't have Huda Beauty on it. Obviously it still has Huda's uh, face on it and the name of the palette um but the name is different how can you take someone's face and name and just shove it on the palette and inside for you've got the large mirror and then it's got kind of like a mix of foil shadows um glitters so even it has the hood of beauty like absolutely naff like it feels like tissue paper it's so flimsy they definitely tried emphasis on try i don't know what's going on with this cow print like they've even copied the names wow so look at that that's hooders super pigmented and we're gonna go with the spanked matte eyeshadow here okay well first of all the color is just like completely different so we're gonna go in with charmed on the real one wow look at that that is actually stunning now we're gonna go in with <laughs> charmed here this little cow print looking thing finger in because they're like so low down okay definitely a lot more chalky and patchy a lot less pigmented not very nice really this one just looks terrible not the worst i've seen but definitely not 
anywhere near the quality so quickly off camera i created this quite simple eye look using obviously the original so we're gonna go over to the copy and just see if i can recreate this on the other i'm gonna use exactly the same brushes and the same colors and just see how we get on you seem so like powdery definitely nowhere near as pigmented my base is just making me angry it's so yellow i'm actually trying here the eyeshadow is just not sticking to my eye the more i keep putting it on it's just going everywhere what is it doing it's like it's like melting down my eye look at the color difference as well and it's just going everywhere it feels like grip i feel like that's literally as good as it's gonna get looks like a three-year-old done it right we need to move on all right so we're nearly at the end thank goodness because i cannot wait to wipe this off my favorite pairs of lashes is Huda beauty of course og in the lash game i saw these and i recognized the eyes straight away as hooders but they have called them fair beauty they just look like they're gonna look absolutely huge on me um and this is just some flimsy thing um so yeah So crusty i would never wear lashes like this they just feel so plastic and like they're so uneven and just ew. i have quite a few options because there were so many different varieties of like fake lipstick so i just like picked up a few just to compare them as well christian louboutin got a kylie liquid lipstick put a liquid lipstick as well this is what i found at the market it's getting yellow as we talk this one when i saw it i was like oh my god don't know if you can see like the bits in it but anyway it feels so plastic cheap and just feels like it's going to fall apart but i don't know if i even want to put that on my lips because of all the bits in it but these ones are done pretty much identical apart from obviously this one is silver but um the thing that really freaks me out is the smell like it smells i can't even i wish you guys were here right now to smell this because it's like it just stinks of like chemicals and just like Eh. it's actually scary because they are so similar packaging i could easily get these two mixed up i'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips i'm gonna go in with the original first such a gorgeous lipstick like hooders liquid lipsticks are hands down one of my favorite why has it got a sticker there my lash don't even want to stay i've made a decision my lips just like stick together this just feels so wrong i'm actually scared it just sounds like chemicals guys honestly don't do this it's just ridiculous oh my god i'm gonna be sick all right guys so that is the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed watching me destroy half of my face this side of my face so many parts are so itchy my lips are tingling like hell here is so itchy here the lash is coming off it wants to leave just to warn you do not not buy fake makeup you just don't know what's in it it's not even good as you can see i really hope you enjoyed it. if you did please give it a thumbs up i thought it'd be funny to see if kel can recognize which is which he's quite good so i think he will know straight away i'll be very offended no right. and why do you think that <laughs> because the other side looks like you have a disease <laughs> look, close. look at the eyelash you see what i mean guys this one looks like you've got like pink eye. I think I'm just gonna wrap this up because I need to get this off my face. <laughs>